every year there's still the same number of employees unfortunately losing their lives using the old school mentality of safety. So it's truly time to make a difference and do something different um, in the safety world. This industry is plagued by serious injuries and fatalities. And where I think this board can really help uh, Veriforce and the industry as a whole is a renewed focus on what it is that actually gets people killed. When I got the phone call and was asked to be part of the Strategic Advisory Board for Veriforce, uh, knowing that there are more than 3,000 instructors out there, uh, number one, I was flattered, I was honored. Is flattering. Veriforce is unique with the the approach that they have through the contractor management platform, but also the training and this training network that's available that touches a lot of people. I'm excited that Veriforce saw something in me and that they were willing to take a chance on a, a younger safety professional. And as a master trainer, I've had the fortune to to train some of those in their trainer trainer classes. People want to be on your team if you have this training, if you invest in them, this is a personal thing to them. They want to go home safely, and that's what we can bring to them. I've been resistant to a, a lot of technological advances with regard to training. However, after going through COVID, it's really opened my eyes to how we can pivot and using technology to reach a, a much wider audience without losing that quality control and without losing the interpersonal connection that's so important when you're doing training. The Strategic Advisory Board helps Veriforce focus in not only the internal expertises, but also outside folks, outside ideas, outside concepts, and get them all merged together so we know what our real problems are in the field. In order for Veriforce to fully fulfill its mission and, and effectively help workers come home from high hazard jobs and the industries that work, and it's essential that we have uh, feedback from those that are doing the work, that are in the field, that are talking to the, the individuals at the line level, operators, the contractors, uh, and really understanding the journey that they're going through. What are the obstacles that they have to deal with? And that's what the advisory board is going to be able to do is bring that field level experience in and hopefully create new initiatives so that we can truly think outside the box and get back to the, you know, the original mission statement of bringing workers home safely. Being chosen to be a member of the Strategic Advisory Board really, for me, comes with a sense of responsibility that we owe it to the instructor network, but more importantly, we owe it to those men and women who go to work every day that need this training to make sure that they come home safe, that we owe it to them to deliver the best products that we can in the most effective manner. And that's what this Strategic Advisory Board's all about, is making sure people come home safe.